everybody welcome 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 to your where are we divine feminine how are you okay <laughs> it's a different setting for for today's divine feminine but anyhow i got my tea hopefully you guys are ready because we are sipping over here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. remember my old show before good morning tea um got canceled <laughs> I like to share, t uh, you know, tarot, I mean, um, oracle, but, you know, people are like, okay. <laughs> no, no, people watch it, but, you know, people just like to hear what the other person is going through and all those stuff. And I want them to heal. It didn't happen. <laughs> so we're going to start um, in, uh, um, let me explain how this is going to work. It's a little bit different. Um, this is the um, Oracle of Answers, okay? So when I go to the extended, that's why I'm already talking about this, you would have to ask three questions when you go there, and this will answer that. I'm gonna draw the card, and it has certain answers, and then, you know, you connect with it. Use your intuition, use your guides, peekaboo, but don't use me, okay? <laughs> because it's up to you, okay? Think of three questions. Okay, so, but today, we're going to start with um, Wisdom of the Oracle with Colette. Colby. Colette. Uh, no, Colby. Car Colby. No, Colby. Colette Baron Reed. Yeah. Okay. I, lately, I've been like, I, I like to read the what they say. Because, I mean, they didn't put their years of life here not to be read. Okay. So, let's see what's the message. The Divine Feminine has no genitalia. It is the yin side. It only means that you are the moon side in the relationship, the more passive one. Mm -hmm. Or you may be the yang acting like the yin because remember, we're both, um, we're both part of that. Okay? You're the yin and you're the yang also. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. Not for you. <laughs> nope. It says there. Nope. Not for you. Number six. All right, let me see what that's what does it mean. Okay, let's see. Hold on, hold your horses. That's why I got a glasses. Okay, number six. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, number six is not here. I'm at the page six. Oh, there you go. Don't go by the page. It's a. It's the page. It has to be the title, not the page. I know page six. Okay. <laughs> Relax. There you go. I'm gonna read it. Not for you. Okay. Sit down and then enjoy the tea. Essential meaning. Okay. A clear knowing that something is being denied, you know, is being denied. You, basically. Rejected is God's, oh, rejection is God's protection. Mm. We've heard about that. I've heard about that. The Oracle message. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard um, you work at something, the result you seek always seem to elude you. It's as if you don't really get to be in the game and you feel you're, you, you're, you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now. That, indeed, your dreams for the exact thing will not be fulfilled um, this is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart, for there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have much clear idea what is um, for your highest good. Rejection is God's protection. Something much better that will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this. It feels like Queen's Gambit because there's a chess Netflix series, right? Mm. Let me see the relationship message. Some relationships uh, carry an innate seed of failure uh, in them that it's obvious from the beginning, but red flags escape your observation, but red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you are being protected by the divine. If you are the one who must reject another, remember that you do so for both your sakes, for every pot, there is a lid. This one is not to be the best fit. And for every pot, there's a good weed. <laughs> now that one is not included because <laughs> it says pot. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. 
Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's early in the morning. It's early in the morning. Okay. <laughs> For every pot, there is a good weed or a good dealer. <laughs> Let's see. What are you up to? The divine feminine here. Okay. Okay. You have the two of pentacles, uh, the two of wands, a lot of choices now, the devil, another choice, high priestess. Okay, someone here, now I think I've seen this already, excuse me, can I, can I take out my tea? I just don't want you to see that. I feel like, maybe you feel like it's disrespectful. Okay. I don't know, maybe people feel that. Okay. They say you have to drink it with the strength of a bear. Okay, I don't know, the crown, I was watching the crown. Okay. Mm. I don't even have a saucer, and this is a cup. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Mm. Two of Wands. The Devil. And the High Priestess. Uh -huh. So what does this mean? Okay. Now, it appears that you are part of a connection that um, has so many, uh, has brought so many tears, um, you know, on you, upon you. Okay. Now, this is a little bit troublesome. Why? Because the high priestess has kept their silence. So you've been suffering. You've been ab 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 abused. Okay? Abuse. Abuse. You have been abused by this person. You never told anybody. You never expressed it to anyone. You keep it to yourself. That's the high priestess. But the high priestess is smart. Okay? It's smarter than the magician. It knows what is good and bad. That's why there is that um, pillars over there. Okay, that's a, um, a rite of passage. So you have gone through this whole scenario, not being dumb. Okay, you're not dumb at all. Um, I feel like you knew that this person was um, codependent. Has you know addiction can be the devil. Um, obsession is the devil. Um, it can be any kind of extra. Okay. You know you are a part of that connection. There is awareness. This is what I see. Um, but with the two of ones here, it feels like you're looking forward for something else now. You're saying that, okay, I've dealt with this, and I know okay, what this has brought to me, but I need to make a decision for myself. Look at that. She looks like she's about to make a big decision. Now, the two of pentacles here is juggling, right? So... Um, but this is ab about trying to stay busy. So you might be trying to stay busy every time so that... Okay, I need to bring it here. Oh, because the tea bag mm -hmm, is made it wet. Okay, let me see. Now. <laughs> no, because my voice, I need, to, uh, I need to care for it. Mm -hmm. Now, the two of pentacles here, normally if I scratch my boobies... You're scratching yours. I scratch mine, you scratch yours. Okay. <laughs> so with the two of pentacles, um, it feels like you are, um, you know, you're trying to stay committed, you know, like to everything right now um, so that you do not have to face them, express to them or talk to them. So avoidance. Okay, you're doing avoidance. Okay, avoidance. Avoidance. Reunited and it feels so good. Okay. Yeah. You're trying to avoid them because you have regrets. The Divine Feminine has regrets. Sorrow. That's the Nine of Swords. The Fool is about, you know, starting new. That's the Fool. The Fool is about moving forward and... Let's see. Let's see that. Mm-hmm. Making big changes is the fool because you're breaking free, okay, from this uh, shackles. That's a devil. Is a shackle. Mm -hmm. Now, the shackle between the two of you actually is just you kept waiting for them. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. So you may you lost so much time. You lost so much time dealing with this person because there's the Nine of Swords. Mm. You probably, okay, had a chance to walk away. Eight of Cups. 
but you never had the guts, you never had the energy, you never had the strength, okay? Until you found out like, you know, probably rejection from every part, okay? Now, what does this mean? Um, you keep hitting the, you know, the wall, a dead end every time with this person. And then you have the fool and then the two of pentacles. So this is what you're saying. You're avoiding them so that in a way you can start to feel free. Mm -hmm. Free your mind. The rest will follow. Mm, that's what it is. Free your mind. The rest will follow. Yes. You got the chariot. Yeah, you're definitely free as a bird. With the moon. Um, you... You have this, sorry, I'm sorry, remember. You have this question right now inside your head is if they did love you, I feel like that's irrelevant. <laughs> what does it matter when you're trying to break free? Okay. With the moon and the seven of pentacles, um, there is a part of you that still feels the need for this kind of connection. So it's quite addictive. The connection was something bad but something good because it feels ha you're high in life. You're high. You got everything that you need that you thought. You thought you're getting. That's what you thought. And then you got the five of wands and then the nine of swords over here. But what you're getting actually is discomfort. Five of wands is all trouble. And you're realizing that. Now, as soon as you realize that, look at you. Knowing what is right for you. You blaze into the chariot, you move forward in life. But with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups, you have this question. Did I give it my all? I give my all to her to move your body next. Something like that, right? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you give it all? Mm. So, let's see. You got the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. <laughs> Eight of Wands with the Queen of Wands. You were part of a menage a trois. This person has betrayed you. If you guys could have, have a family also or has a loving relationship. And yet, they went for someone else. And then you become separada. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Because you were part of a tatsulok. Mm -hmm. Love triangle. Okay. So, yeah. Love triangle. Yep. It is a love triangle. Definitely. Because you got a queen of cups and a queen of wands. You're wondering, did they love you? Or did they love the other person? Did they want to be with you? Or do they want to, you know, did they want to be with you or with the other person? So, those are the lingering, okay, thoughts that you still have. Mm -hmm. You haven't let go because there's no Ten of Swords. I know that. But you're about to. It's Major Arcana. Major Arcana does not happen in actuality. It's everything that surrounds you as a Major Arcana. The Minor Arcana, these are all happening. Eight of Wands, like go, go, go. You receive the action. You know, you receive signs and symbols from the universe. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. You're gonna see that. Five of Wands, all the trouble that this person has brought to you. You saw that also. The devil card, you've never seen that. It's everywhere around you in this relationship. Mm -hmm. That's how Major Arcana works. Okay? So, the question is now, is it over? Is it over? Mm -hmm. Is this whole nightmare over? Is it? Is it over? All right. Well, anyhow, I'm going to continue this reading. I'm going to go for your Divine Masculine in the Extended. Okay. Link down there in the description box below for everything that you need. Make sure you turn on the bell. On Friday, we are going to be launching something big. Huge. You've never seen this. Okay. It's huge. So turn on the bell. Get the app, Eat, Read, Love. So you get the first, not if, you know, when, you, when we notify and we release it. Sign up, sign up also on our email list. And then you will see what I'm talking about. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 
Bye. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. There's never been a candle that aligns your physical body to your spiritual side. Each scent corresponds to a specific chakra point. Lavender is associated with a crown. That aroma gives us a higher state of consciousness. Green tea lemongrass helps your third eye to gain clarity of thought during meditation. Seven candles, seven scents, seven chakras, seven ways to balance yourself.